total atomic annihilation. Hey there guys, welcome back to Just Nuke and Gaming. This is Nuke here with another episode of Fallout 4 Horizon. So last episode, we were finally able to make our way, discover the railroad, as well as over to Cabot House, and a few other little odds and ends there. And we were able to kickstart some more missions. Before we start running off and start working on any of those, I do want to do one lore thing while we're kind of in the downtown area. I want to try our hand at the Boston Public Library, which should be, if I remember, is in a little bit of a war between some robots, some turrets, as well as a bunch of super mutants. So this could be a fun little challenge. There could be some good rewards in here. I want to see what we could pick up. Now, in between episodes, I did do a little bit of work, our inventory, and we have some new items to use. Starting with using the Gilded Grasshopper we got for the Shim Down quest, we were able to yeah, make a weapon. Basically a stick with the grasshopper on it. You know, he's got kind of a pointy head there, so that could be very painful. Upgrade a little bit. It's okay. We're going to try it out. Not really a long-term use weapon I'm planning on. Because we actually got something even better. That's right. We have the auto axe. Specifically, the man opener. The one that Arturo had over in Diamond City. By going through our inventory and picking up all of our, or going through our workbench back in Hagman's Alley, picking up a bunch of weapons we've just been kind of hoarding a little bit, some other things, to sell it all. We're able to walk away with this thing with Alan about, you know, three or four hundred caps instead of the normal sixteen hundred that he wants for it. Can't upgrade it quite yet. We've got to do some a little bit more work to it. With our skills, but hey, this thing ignores damage resistance. It should make this thing a beast. 25 damage seems low, but this has very, very fast speed because this is more like the Ripper or a Chainsaw. Yeah, this is going to be a powerful weapon. I think it's going to be our go-to melee weapon for quite a while. Next up, to kind of burn through some of our weaker ammo, let's try out a few other guns. I was able to do a little bit of work on this Mauser pistol I picked up last episode. It uses our 9mm ammo, which is fairly light lightweight ammo. This would be great for rad roaches, mole rats, fuel weak things like that. Also, we're able to upgrade the Silence 38 pistol, which will burn through some of our 38 ammo, of course. It is pretty weak, but as its name says, this thing is completely silenced. So, we're doing some sneaking through some of these pre war buildings. Yeah, this thing might actually come somewhat handy, especially with some sneak attacks. We just need to start upgrading some of our sneaking skills. Also, while kind of going through the weapon workbench to see what we can make there, I found out that there's actually a way to upgrade our repeating bolter by making a new version called the hunting bolter, which is basically the marksman rifle stock, or actually the marksman rifle. A little bit of crossbow, really cool springs and compressors. It doesn't shoot as fast, but this thing is 55 damage versus the other one's around 44. Makes it quite powerful. I did throw on some aquatic camouflage just for fun. Hey, yeah, plus besides, get a little scope. This might actually be a lot more useful stealth weapon compared to that repeating bolter. And finally, we have a pipe bolt action rifle. You may think, well, we already had a rifle, the hunting rifle, and that thing was actually fairly powerful. But, 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 with our last bit of level ups, we finally start crafting something we couldn't before. We can make silencers, at least for our pipe weapons. And this thing's actually only about four points of damage lower. Heated, so it does do a little bit of fire damage to kind of boost up a little bit more. But yeah, that the silencer, the little critical hits from the sniping, and our little sneaking perks. Yeah, this thing's going to be our go-to rifle for a little while. At least until we can either find a gun with the silencer or the 
hunting rifle, or we could level up enough that we can make that ourselves. But normally, when you want to come into the library, you would head down to this little tunnel here, which goes into a subway station, which you can unlock. Kind of coming in the back door of the place. We're not going to do that, though. There's actually a little secret entrance you can kind of go into this place if you're not really overly familiar with the game. Take that stuff. Yeah, there's actually a door. And yeah, normally it's locked. You could pick your way in. There's another way we can get in, though. I work here. Let me in. My ID number is um, one, two, three, four, five. just like that, we have access. And this should bring us over to a particular area that might actually be great for, for us to start at. Uh, little known fact, this is actually one of, I want to say one or two speech checks in the whole game that no matter what your charisma's at, you will, are guaranteed to pass. Yeah, that's a cool little thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sounds like a space balls reference. All right, so let's go check out the library. As you come in, before you really get running anything, you have to make sure you look at your feet. There are some rather nasty surprises in here. Okay. So, a couple of interesting facts, or at least one. If you pick lock this door, or the other one that comes in from the subway tunnels, that does actually make all the turrets and robot, or actually the turrets, because there's quite a few turrets in here will immediately be hostile toward you. Whereas if you use the intercom, yeah, they're cool with you because they think you're the mayor. You probably don't want these guys to be hostile toward you because, yeah, this place can get a little hot and heavy, as you can see. Yeah, we, we're not exactly alone in here. And as soon as you attack the turret to defend yourself, that tends to turn the protectrons against you. And we're actually going to need these guys here shortly. Okay, so first thing, yeah, we got some books to turn in. Okay, so there are some decent things we could collect in here. You know, toy trucks, it's got some metal and some screws, those are always good. Normally, this would be a great place because this actually gets you a magazine. So this one, we don't know what we're getting on this one. Unfortunately, it's going to be random. Hopefully, it's something useful. Otherwise, these things are just kind of full of random junk. And we got guns and bullets. Okay, so that's... Not bad. We haven't really had to make any ammo yet. Eventually that could come in time. Yeah, looking. Yeah, there's some good... There's some very good looting here because there's so many containers. And luckily for us, before I came here, I was able to buy another cargo bot ship. And I'll we'll make yet another cargo bot. So yeah, we can carry it up to 635 now, our inventory. Before we get really exploring this place too much, let's go ahead and get a little bit of war going here. Uh, we do want to make sure we have a good weapon. You know what, we're going to go with the combat rifle for right now, our 45. If we take some hits, we can flip over to the CR-74L. That's gonna be putting out some increased damage. Let's be careful. No human being would possibly pile books this way. You're right, sir. There are not humans that we have to worry about. Well, you're not gonna need that stuff anymore. Okay. 
Okay, guys. Take that key, some bobby pins. Protect and serve. Attention. Security breach near rear. There we go. Intruder. Let's find a safe. Identify yourself. Oh yeah, we are. These guys are going down pretty quickly thanks to our little robot friends. Oh, I see. There's one more there. I see you. Y'all don't stand a chance. I got some robot friends. Yeah, these guys are a little bit everywhere. Maybe we'll follow. I want I want the experience. Good eye. I really can't see anything. Come on, protect on buddies. Oh yeah, don't don't shoot them. My hits in. Take care of it for me. Oh, I see another one way down there. Still in danger. Is this one still in here? Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh, he took one down. Yeah. Come on, arm. Oh, no, you got one arm. Ah, look at that. Cleared it all out. Now we can turn our mission to Daisy. And. Before we really get this place, of course, we're going to do a lot of looting because, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of great stuff in here. Okay, so we ran around, did some looting. We'll pick up a few various books, quite a bit of crafting stuff, uh, even a little, quite a bit of ammo off all the bodies, some of the few ammunition cases are lying around. Even found some food in Nicola. So, yeah, this is actually a really great place if you're looking for looting. But we have one last place we need to check out here. Yeah, we need to check out the locked door, which you pick up the key for, right there on this desk. Which, all of this is actually being protected by this guy. Yeah. We actually put up stuff, all these robots and defenses, because, yeah, these super units kept smashing this place over and over and over. And it looks like, finally, they just couldn't hold out anymore. Alright, so let's see what this guy was guarding. Oh yeah, Cure Gibbons. Yeah, we'll go. yeah, do that. That's faster. Some little things to pick up. Definitely want all this ammo. Don't make me carry that worthless crap. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Bobblehead. 
just gains us a perk point. We've got a, quite a few good options. You know, definitely need to be improving things like our blacksmithing, armoring, so we can be boosting up our ammo. Hacking wouldn't be bad. But seeing as how we have a few new silenced weapons, yeah, Mr. Sandman. Start doing some little bit of extra damage. some good stuff here. Okay. So with that, yep, we completed the Boston Public Library. There was a quest here which we're able to turn back to Daisy to be some easy experience. Uh, let's see, we're actually pretty close to a level up now. How far are we from good neighbor? We're not terrible, so maybe... So maybe I'm going to make that run out there so we can turn this in this quest. Oh, uh, before we do that, there's one more thing we do need to do. As part of the creation cup content for Neon Flats. Yeah, we need to hack some terminals. Two. Looking for three. Now five. And where was seven at? Seven. Galaxy News Network. Oh. So we need that. Oh, Gunner's Plaza. Uh that's really far south, isn't that? Yes, it is. So, further south you go, harder things get. So, we're not going to be heading out there anytime soon, I don't think. But, hey, we can turn in this quest to Daisy the Good Neighbor. So, yeah, let's turn it out that way. Hey there, Daisy. You're back. How'd it go at the library? Get rid of those serpent leaves. I sure did. The library computer said I earned some kind of credit. Oh, right. I remember that. They used to pay kids to round up the old library books. Since they had so much trouble, people returning them. 
Guess if you found more hook, you'll get more credit. Buy whatever prizes the machines still have. Speaking of which, sounds like you finished the job. Thanks for your help. That library deserves to be left in peace. Awesome. 200 caps and a level up. Great. That's our second perk point we were able to get this episode. Alright. Let's see what we can use that one on. You know what? All these helpful perks that we could be taking. How can we not be taking life givers? Yeah. More health. Cannot turn that down. Okay, so we got that done. Now the second thing I want to do while we're here, yeah, I wanted to help out our friend McCready. And he wants us to take out some guys way over here at the Mass Pike Interchange. Yeah, we're going to run back to Hangman's Alley, drop off all the stuff we have. Then we're going to run out far, far to west. And you know, it should be pretty easy. We already cleared out a lot of this area. And we'll get that taken care of. Okay, so here we are at the Mass Pike Interchange with McCree. And we're going to run up here and take out these couple guys that are bothering him. Uh, yeah, fortunately, we kind of already cleared out this place, so it should be pretty easy to do. Everyone come up. Okay, I won't take that as no. It's fine. I'm pretty sure I handled this by myself. Just a matter of... How many guys have since respawned? That didn't do quite as much damage as I was hoping. Okay, uh, are y'all coming or not? Okay, got him down. Oh, Brotherhood still. Are y'all coming to help me? I think y'all are coming to help me. That's perfect. here. Well, they're hopefully distracted. Or we're in a problem because, yeah, Brotherhood is still did not last very long. Oh, about time you joined us, McCready. Loosen these guys up a little bit. Oh, uh, damn, we're taking some damage. Creedy, aren't you? Oh, McCready's down. Okay. Okay, 
we're we're kind of in rough shape here. Uh, pretty, you're not helping that much. Brotherhood, so guys, I'm highly disappointed in you. Be here somewhere. I just don't see him though. Okay, I see someone. God, I hope there's a bounty on you. Is that it? No, I mean, the turret's still there, but we could, we could handle a turret. That's why you don't screw with the gunners. Okay, McCready. I think we're all done. Hey. Um, hey, you got a sec? I should send a message to the gunners to stay off my back. I'm sure they heard you loud and clear. Definitely. It's the gunners. It's always about the bottom line. They just lost this entire way station, and that cost them big. Besides, they have no way of knowing I was involved. Anyway, I guess I owe you a favor now. After all, you hired me, but I'm the one that dragged you out here. You don't owe clearly needed the help. Sure, but I like everything to remain nice and even. And you're one up on me. Tell you what. I'm going to give you back the caps you paid me in good neighbor. I'll still stick with you because that was part of the original deal, but now we're even. There you go. I guess we're done here. Lead on, boss. Thanks, McCready. Where in the world did she come from? I was just starting to have fun. Ooh, a Chinese assault rifle. I haven't seen one of those yet. Okay, so we helped out McCready, got these guys done. Now we just gotta travel with them more if we want to get some more stuff from him, but I think maybe we'll switch out companions for a little while. Oh uh Oh, we don't have enough skill. Move. I think you'll be okay, McCready. Alright, so yeah. We got that done. We're going to make, once again, another turn back to Hangman's Alley. Chop off all the little gear or stuff we picked up. And then I think it's time we start going checking out Deacon and his quest. Which isn't too far from Hangman's Alley. We just kind of crossed the bridge, head up. We've actually been in this area several times. Yeah, right there, west of Lexington. And we can start moving the railroad quest forward a little bit. All right, see you guys in a few. Okay, that was interesting. Cool job, talk me. Okay, so after a little bit of distraction, we kind of went up on the wrong overpass. I remember this little bit wrong. Is that you, McCready? 
Okay, yeah, we're just jumping everywhere. Yeah. So, found our way to Deacon. So, let's see what he's got for us. Deacon? Is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. That sounds really, really bad. It was a disaster with a capital D. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So, we're getting something important we had to leave behind. Let's find it then. We gotta do one thing first. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs. Symbols we use. Either way, sir. You know, could you go a little faster maybe? There we go. We're splitting all that, right? Uh, no, sir. It is mine. Oh, yeah. That's a wonderful one. Up ahead. And another. We're probably close. Oh yeah, we're doing so much damage they can't even make an attack to get back. Come on, Deacon. Let's get the show on the road. Uh Okay, it's not quite what I wanted to do. Okay, can you get through now? Okay, you know what? We're going to leave him behind. Maybe he'll catch up. I'm not 100% positive. So, don't need all this stuff, sir. Because you're going to be staying where you're at. Don't mind me. Once your friend gets here, how about we have a chat? Huh? Dang it. Okay, uh. Okay, here he comes. He's coming now. I'm gonna give it to you, dude. You were able to hand yourself against some ghouls. Somewhat impressed. HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. About goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. It's all right. We're here now. You're safe. You think I'm goddamn safe? That little Slocum Jones of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome since sons of bitches. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Okay. Yeah. We're going to be looking at a Slocum Joe's. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, 
The front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Good. So, let's get down off this overpass, and we're going to be checking out the secret escape tunnel into the former railroad station. This could be a potential problem. Or not, because power armor is pretty badly nerfed in this game mode by the looks of it. Okay, that's some more creation cloak content. Maybe we'll do that later. I do want to stay a little focused on completing this railroad mission. Okay. Let's check this place out. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrot. Okay, so yeah, Deacon, I need you to come help out here, sir. We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrot. Let's find a prototype then. Together with you? I like our odds. The first step is to override the security lockdown. That's what I need you for, sir. Well, the terminal's on at least. I'm gonna feed it some password money. No. Prototypes deeper inside. Someone left a rail sign here. Uh, this one was dangerous. No, no. Yeah, I would assume that pretty much. It's not going to do a lot of damage. Contact detected. Possibly. Okay, uh, I guess we missed that shot. Another enemy location. Now, the enemy I was looking for, but whatever. like Maven managed to hide something before. I don't know what's still there. Yeah. Look around. Okay, okay equipment. You cannot escape detection for long. If they return, I will be ready. Come up just a little bit more. Hello. My order must be destroyed. Okay, we need to 
good angle on these guys, which we do not have. You guys got apparently not. Okay, these guys are hurting pretty badly. Going to have to be fairly careful in here by the looks of it. We're going to try to use something a little bit more oomph to it. Yeah, these guys are still kind of kind of on the deadly side here. Love that. You must be terminated. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Turret. Sucker took forever. And we've attracted attention while we're trying to get that open. Danger, somebody's here. Thank you, that is awesome. A fully charged fuse core. We haven't seen too many of those. I'm gonna go out and let him say you're probably up top here. I am equipped with the most advanced. Would everybody just stop throwing grenades around everywhere for one minute? It's called the switchboard. I see they're kind of freaking out a little bit. Okay, so that didn't work. I'm guessing that they already activated that. Uh, we're gonna just going to already for a little bit. I got some stuff I want to do. Through. So yeah, this wasn't just a normal slug from Joe's. This seems to have been some kind of pre-war bunker. But, you know, everything kind of Is someone present? fell to heck. And you know, well, life happens. I don't know what you were using. Oh, it looks like you're using a cryolator. Fortunately, uh, I'm not taking that with me.
Okay, so dog meat, what did you do? Oh, you must have a laser minigun. Dang it. Deacon. Okay. Everybody seriously stop getting in the way there. Oh, we're crying out. Oh, that's that's terrible. That's terrible. Okay, well, we came back to life. Unfortunately, the one settlement that doesn't really do me any good. Yeah, we're at Dang, Starlight Drive-In. Well, granted, is kind of close to where we need to be. Yeah, we can't heal ourselves or anything here, so yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to make a little bit of a journey. All the way up to Sanctuary. Heal up. Regear up. Yeah, so. I was not expecting all the Gatling guns. Ah, uh, yeah. This is going to be a lot tougher than I thought it was. But, we're most of the way to clearing out the railroad station headquarters, so. Yeah. I think we'll go ahead and end the episode here, though. That was enough fun. We'll pick this up next time back at the railroad headquarters and see if we could take down all these heavily, heavily, heavily armed sets. Alright, so thank you for joining me guys. I do appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. That helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you guys next time with another episode of Fallout 4 Horizon.